22-year-old Bonnie Cool's first step on the scales has been a tearful wake-up call. 145.7. OK. It's a confronting thing to, to, to talk about, you know, my weight and having it all laid out in black and white. It was confronting. And it is, it is upsetting. When do you start taking ownership? Now. <laughs> now? This is the first time she's really had to confront it. This is the start of the end of her old life and the start of her new life. Now Bonnie's life must change drastically, and that will begin at home. Welcome, beautiful Bonnie. Hello. Look what we've got for you. Wow. Fresh fruit, vegetables, all your new diet. Looks great. Yeah, it does look great. I eat too much. I don't exercise enough. I probably drink too much alcohol. I'm a procrastinator and there's always a reason why, you know, I can't just go and do something. Do you cook much now to cook this food? I do, I love cooking. Oh, fantastic, so this will be easy for you. The food's yeah, gonna I be very easy cooking. for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about uh, eating and drinking, socialising, what about the drinking part now? I think for me it would be easier to just not go out you know, try and limit it. But you've still got to socialise. So if you yeah. do go out and you do have a drink, have one for one. Have a glass of water first and then have a glass of yeah. alcohol. Bonnie needs to be headstrong in this situation because, you know, that one drink makes a big difference at the end of the day when she has to be very disciplined and focused on what her job is. But right now, I need you to go and get changed because yeah. we're going to go for a workout. Cool. Bonnie, this is where your life's going to change out here back down the bottom of the stairs okay. and back up. I don't feel comfortable going to the gym. I get embarrassed and, you know, I feel like everyone's looking at me and judging me. OK, I want your squat. One, and up. She's only just discovered the park a week ago. That's two blocks from your house. What have you been doing? How much are your legs working? Pretty hard. You feeling that now? Yeah. This is just going to fall off you. Bonnie is very motivated. She's just got to get out there and start doing things and pointing that energy in the right direction and getting her life going forward, not using, you know, the cliches of that she's lived by walking down the street and people making fun of her anymore. All the way around the oval, how quick do you think you can get around there? Three minutes. Three minutes. All right, I'm going to give you 320. Okay. And how are you feeling? A little bit puffed. Yeah? You want to keep up with me if we need to make it on time? You know, Bonnie spends most of her time indoors, inside, hiding under this mushroom or canvas of non-reality. So my philosophy behind her is getting her outside, getting to let her understand who she is. And so she can become, again, this female that she portrays that she, she is to everybody else. Here we are back to the start, Bonnie. Yep. What do you think? Five minutes. Do you? Five minutes, 20. He's really positive and motivating and, you know, he makes me feel like I'm, I'm going to do well. But Bonnie has already worked out that this will be a very lonely journey where excuses won't cut it. My biggest challenge for losing weight will be being motivated to, to get up and do stuff and, and, and exercise and, you know, not make excuses for myself of why I can't do it. Lee has set Bonnie a weight loss target of 10 kilos in 40 days. I think she's all over this because now she's motivated. She understands how important it is to be healthy and happy and not just fat and happy. Bonnie says she loves to cook Bonnie. and she'll need to do plenty of that as she tries to curtail her social life and avoid temptation. If you were to sum up to me, what do you think the problems are that you're having with your with your eating? Uh, like don't eat all day and then at, at night time I have a huge big like binge and then I just feel sick because I've eaten too much. Okay, <laughs> well that's one thing we want to change. Yeah. We want to try and take your calories and spread them over the yeah. course of the day. But I think one of the things for her that's really tricky actually is learning how to have her social life, be young, have fun, be out and about but also know how to eat healthily and, and, and make that work for her within her lifestyle. But three weeks into this weight loss journey, her best friend is tired of the new Bonnie. She gets very upset over little things and she shouldn't, but I'm very confused about the changes. I'm worried about the friendship, I guess. You know, she's the longest friend I've had and the strongest friendship I've had, and I don't want to lose that. But Bonnie doesn't seem to notice her best friend's growing unhappiness. Like, I've got lots of people supporting me and, and on my back constantly. Like, are you doing the right thing? I hope, I hope you've gone for a walk today, you know. Are you eating properly? I, I, I do. I have 
a dozen people that are that are constantly reminding me, don't you do that? Don't, what are you doing? Like, you have to do the right thing, you know. Too much? Do you think so, people harp at you too much? No, I enjoy it. I, I like being, like, kept in line. So today is Saturday, about half past eight, and, um, and Laura's getting ready to go out. And, um, and usually I would probably be, um, be going out with her, but I've decided to not go out just because it takes temptation away. You know, I'm not going to be tempted to drink and I just I want to try and focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, Stir fry. Oh, yeah, can you make extra? No. Why? Because there's certain amounts of things that I have to have. I'm allowed to have 100 grams of meat and I'm allowed to have half a cup of brown rice and yeah, I'm allowed to have... that up and then halve it. Yeah, but it, it's, it won't... Do you know what I mean? It's just easy to just make mine. I'll make you some afterwards. I feel like I'm treading water and I'm slowly drowning living with her because she is just... I'm trying to be so strong and so, you know, focused on what I'm doing and she is just... My mental well-being. My body is grey. I feel grey, you know, but... I just mentally feel so challenged at the moment and she's driving me mad. I felt grumpy this week because I've been um, I've been a bit tired and I've been sick, so you know, but you can't do that. I'm gonna go somewhere else if you're gonna be a twat. I'm going to make tea. <laughs> I'm doing what I want when I want, which is not like me. I usually do what Laura wants when Laura wants me to do it. I'll be quiet. I don't care what it is. I like it. I haven't had any takeaway from this whole time, have I? Yes, you have. When? You had pizza. Oh. You've had heaps. You've had more takeaway than you normally do. I have not. Yeah, I'm perfect. My name's Bonnie. I think mean, Sarah's perfect. I'm just saying, you still have been eating junk food. Oh, don't push me. Stop. And I feel like she's setting me up to fail at every turn, and I can't do it. Despite Bonnie's domestic conflict, she has to face her first weigh-in and the 10-kilo target Lee set 40 days ago. So, Bonnie, it's time to be weighed. It's been 40 days. How do you think you're going to go? I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know how much I will have lost, so... Do you think you've lost any? I hope I've lost at least something. And if you haven't? I'm going to be very upset <laughs> with myself. When I was about to stand on the scales, you know, I was, I was petrified. I honestly thought that there was going to be little to no loss. Step up. When you started this, Bonnie, you were 140... 5.7. 145.7.